Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend, and Morgan Webb got a breast reduction. Thank you, Twitter. Anyway, ironically enough, or coincidentally enough, Twitter is what I'm referring to here. I tweeted something the other day because I put on G4 and I was watching X play and Morgan Webb was on. I haven't turned that channel on in a couple weeks here and I noticed her breasts, Morgan Webb, the host of X play, her breasts were significantly smaller. I said, I tweeted something about it. I said, holy shit, did she get a breast reduction or what? And someone tweeted back to me, said, yeah, she did and that channel's going to shit because it's becoming Esquire TV. And the whole Esquire TV thing, you know, it, it struck in my mind because I remember seeing previews, just even on other channels along with G4, promoting this channel called Esquire TV. Uh, I didn't catch on the previews that it's actually G4 itself that is becoming Esquire TV. I figured it was just a whole separate channel. And I was like, oh, so no more G4. Now... This got me to thinking about things, and it just got me to reminisce about two channels, Tech TV and G4. Two channels that I used to watch all the time. And I'm just left with just one question. What the hell happened? And those of you out there, you may remember a channel called Tech TV. Uh, this channel it was around in the early 2000s. I don't know the exact years. It, you know, I should have did an ounce of research. But anyway, it was in, <clears throat> it was on in the early 2000s. I remember when I moved out to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I saw Tech TV for the first time. It was on the local cable system there, and it wasn't in, in Philadelphia and New Jersey where I lived before that. And I was like, oh, this is a cool channel. Look at it. it's got it's got shows like the the Cinematech show that basically starts off with like a list of video games and it just it's scrolling and each time it scrolls up to a new one it shows you like a cutscene or a demo or a preview what have you for a, a video game and it was it was really cool it showed you really obscure games I remember that's where I first learned about Katamari Damachi through that like I was like I was like what is this why what that thing is like throwing up a rainbow and there's like a, a flying cow I was like what is this and it just it piqued my interest to the to the point that I actually you know got the game, and it shows like that that just I was like I was like wow this is just this is a really entertaining channel if you're into video gaming, and maybe if you're not, um, at the time I was very much so into video gaming. Um, it shows like Arena that would take two people two groups of people face them off with one another. And they would play games like they might bring out like Dance Dance Revolution and have like, you know, two teams play each other and whoever, whichever team has the highest score wins and they have like separate rounds. And for whatever reason, one thing that always bothered me on this show, on the show Arena, is they would have one game, one game that they were so obsessed with, the game Unreal Tournament. <coughs> the game Unreal Tournament, for whatever reason, this... This show just worshipped it. I don't know, never knew, one single person on the planet that owns the game Unreal Tournament. It's like a, it's like a Halo type, Call of Duty type shooter game. Anyway, never invested in it. It always looked dumb on the show. They would always play the Capture the Flag game. Anyway, a bunch of other shows, Sweat, Cheat, great programming on this channel, Tech TV. I was like, this is great. And then, I noticed another channel called G4, and it had similar type programming. And it was at this point, um, back in Philadelphia in the mid-2005, 2004, somewhere around that time frame, and both G4 and Tech TV come on the local cable providers there, and it's announced that G4, owned by Comcast, is buying, acquiring Tech TV and merging the programs into one channel. So I'm like, oh, this is kind of a bummer. You have a, you know, a market that's divided here, giving you two variations of the same content. I don't see how that's necessarily a bad thing, but for whatever reason, Comcast being the corporate 
giant they are that wants to suck up everything, had to suck in tech TV into G4. And within a matter of a couple years later, the programming that was exclusive to, to G4 was gone. The majority of the programs that were exclusive to tech TV were gone. And I, it's just, in whatever weird twist, the only two shows that remained on that merged channel just a year or two down the road were both tech TV shows, The Screensavers and X-Play. Both of the Screensavers went on to be Attack of the Show, X-Play is still X-Play to this day. Which just goes to show you that Comcast had absolutely no faith in their product, in the, in the, in the shows they were producing. That they just got rid of them all. Spare, I don't know, there may be a show or two that's more obscure that I'm forgetting about, but... It just shows that it's like, it's like, well, we have no faith in our content. We have no faith in the majority of Tech TV's content. We're going to invest in things like Cops and Campus PD and, and James Bond films, which I love. But it's a far cry differing from the content you're used to seeing on those channels. And Ninja Warrior, which I love Ninja Warrior. And it's announced that the Esquire channel is going to continue to have American Ninja Warrior, which is quite possibly the worst version of a Japanese television show I've ever seen. American Ninja Warrior blows. I mean, this is just a perfect example of the Japanese are clearly doing something better. Don't fuck with it. Anyway. Sasuke is way better than American Ninja Warrior. Anyway, now it's to the point where all those shows are gone. I don't know what's going to be remain on uh, Esquire TV if like X Play or Attack of the Shows even going to remain. But it's at the point where I just I don't even care because the the channel is just so bastardized. It's such a shadow of what it used to be. It's such a shadow of just those great shows like Cheats, Cinematech, Sweat. Um, Sweat primarily did sports video games. I know a lot of people out there might not like sports video games. Anyway, Arena, uh, Attack of the Show, Screensavers, whatever you want to call it. And just like, it would have like, like, G4 TV, tech TV, no, G4 TV.com was just like a call-in show. Like, people would call them miscellaneous tech questions. And anyway, my, my point is, is that... I just, I just don't understand why a channel like this, why two channels like this, can't survive in the climate of cable television where you have a thousand literal channels about some of the most obscure shit, but something that's hyper trendy in pop culture like video gaming and technology Something that transcends multiple generations now, people like me that are over 30 years old and that still appeals to someone that's like 10 to 12 years old that would want to watch, you know, maybe history documentaries of video games, which is what a lot of those, which is what G4 and Tech TV used to do. Why there can't be a channel like this? Why can't a channel like that survive? Like, my God, how many pet channels do we have? How many channels do we have? Uh, about the History Channel, like, I mean, how many times do you want to see Berlin blown up in World War II? I mean, it's like, stuff like that constantly you see programming for, and you constantly see channels themed to this, and just the, the military channels, the History Channels, the just fashion channels, ugh! But we can't have something for video games? I mean, one of the things I was thinking about when I asked myself that question, I was like, I don't know, maybe it's because stuff like that is so much more popular on the internet, like, compared to, like, say, a fashion channel, like, a, like, e-fashion, like, a channel like that. I don't even know if e-entertainment has a fashion channel, but e itself is a fashion channel. Anyway, there's a number of fashion channels on cable TV, for instance, and you don't see too many fashion channels shows getting millions of hits on the internet or anything like that, but for like video games, like people that review video games, documentaries about video games, take, um, uh, screw, uh, not screw attack, um, game trailers, and the, the retrospectives they make on game trailers. A lot of those productions are TV caliber productions. They were productions that you would see above and beyond, uh, what you would see on G4 and Tech TV. Uh, retrospective packages they put together for video games, video gaming companies, uh, a series of video games, what have you. And 
it just it just makes me go to think that oh I guess they really don't want to try to cut in on the audience. I figure this is a potential answer that the TV companies don't want to try and go down this route because clearly the audience is basically segregated to the internet for lack of a better term and they're already sucking up, you know, getting their feed, their fill worth on the internet. So why waste time producing and taking a cable channel slot for a G4 tech TV type channel but it, can it seriously hurt if they do try it? I mean, I, I, I know a channel like that won't get like huge monster ratings, but what are the ratings on all these fashion channels, on all these like history, you know, let's bomb Berlin video channels from World War II? And I, I mean, seriously, are there millions of people watching something like that? I don't know. It's just, it's just me being nostalgic about video games. And back in the time when I really loved video games, when G4 and Tech TV were making a ton of content. But I think it could be just that, that the internet came along and the production quality of video game reviews, video game montages, stuff like that just really skyrocketed. And you got to wonder if that's what in essence killed channels like G4 and Tech TV. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing it out there for those of you that remember G4 and Tech TV. Do you think it is the actual internet that wipe these channels off the face of the earth and why we don't have a G4 Tech TV type channel on TV here today, at least in America. I don't know. Anyway, I, I love those channels. I used to watch them all the time. I used to watch them more than any other cable channel in the early 2000s. And it's a, it's a shame that, you know, you can't see them exist to this day or you just get a bastardized version of it on G4 evolving into Esquire TV today. Anyway, does anyone out there remember the good old days of G4 and Tech TV? Do you guys remember that G4 commercial where they showed the two groups, of the, the pairs of people playing Dance Dance Revolution? And they're, Actually, I'll, I'll leave a clip. It's got to be on the internet, so it's got to be on YouTube. I'll leave a, a link for it on the screen here. Uh, I'll put it in the video description as well because it's got to be on the internet somewhere. Anyway, uh, I, I remember seeing that commercial because I used to play Dance Dance Revolution back then. Not so much today. I was like, I was like, oh, that's a that's a cool little witty way to promote the channel. It's it's an example of a commercial done right. And again, Comcast acquired Tech TV, sucked it dry of its resources, left two shows remaining, and had no faith in its own product. But and that's me being a Comcast hater and a Verizon FiOS fanboy, I guess. But anyway, have a great day, everyone.